Hey guys, in this tutorial we're going to continue the arrays and we're going to show a little bit more functionality for our arrays. So what we did in previous tutorials is we kind of calculated a summation of all of these numbers. And so that's what we're going to do is we're going to take our array and we're actually going to sum the total of the array amounts that we have. So let's just put in that we have seven values that are associated to our array. We're going to assign whoops we're gonna assign some values to our different array elements there I think that's seven three four five six seven yeah so we got sell seven values there and we're also gonna establish a sum variable and also an index variable and that all you'll see what that uh, way that comes into play here and so essentially what we want to do is we want to take each one of these values here and we want to sum them and so what we're going to use in this case is we're going to use a for loop and if you guys remember from previous tutorials a for loops has got basically three parameters that it uh, executes and validates and the first being we're going to set our initial variable value so in this case we're going to set our index because essentially what we're going to do is our index is going to be what controls the loop as it goes through and then what we're going to do is we're going to set the uh, condition of our index. So once our index is less than, we'll say, 7, because we have a total of 7 here. So if you guys remember, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is the value. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So anything less, um, less than that, it'll calculate anything at 7 or greater. Obviously the loop, the for loop will, will escape and it won't add any other values because obviously we don't have any other values at this point. So we've got our condition and then we wouldn't, what we want to do is we want to take our index and we want to add one to it each time. So then as it rolls through it uh, gets closer and closer to seven and calculates closer and closer all of the elements of our array as well. All right. So then as we move down through the, the uh, program statements for this for loop, what we're gonna do is we're gonna tell the sum to equal the sum plus our array. And in this case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna tell it to add the index value. All right, so hopefully that makes sense. Um, what we're doing is we're taking the sum. So right now the sum is equal to zero because we haven't set a value to it is so essentially it's at zero. Our Jedi rank, however, is our array name. And then we're gonna take the index value. So in this case, the first index as it goes through the loop is gonna be equal to zero. So zero, our array element zero, or position zero, which is gonna be 35, is gonna be put into this formula, added to the sum, which is gonna be zero, and added to our sum variable here to store for the next loop cycle. So we basically have 35 as that loop or program statement completes. Then it's gonna move on to the next part of the loop where the index obviously over here increases by one, so now our index is equal to one, which is still validated within the condition, one is less than seven. So then it goes down here and it says, hey, our sum is now 35 plus Jedi rank or array position one, because our index is one, which goes up to our array and it says, hey, 264 now needs to be added to the sum. So 264 plus the 35 equals our new sum, and it continues through the loop until obviously the condition is proved false. In this case, we have less than seven. All right, so now what we wanna do is we wanna see our results because I don't really feel like I've accomplished much until I see something that's on screen. And so we're gonna print out that sum to the screen as it executes. So essentially what we're gonna see is the total summation after this whole loop this whole for loop executes. So it's gonna go through position zero, one, two, three, four, five, and six, add all those up, and then it's gonna print it on the screen for us. Saving us having to go Jedi rank zero plus Jedi rank one plus Jedi rank three, you know, so on and so forth all the way down. All right, so go ahead and run it. Make sure you get something or a result of whatever you have. In this case, ours is 1,839 which looks adequate because we have 14, uh, 1400 there. So we have proven that the arrays can save you tons of time. And now we are on to the next tutorial, guys. Hopefully you guys are learning. Drop some comments if you guys have any. 
or uh, any questions, we'll, we'll be happy to take a look and see if we can help you guys out. Catch you guys later.